Richard, Credit Suisse has become the latest investment bank to unveil a restructuring, although I think in this case it looks fairly modest. What exactly is the substance behind this separation of private banking from investment banking? The, the substance is actually the hardest thing to find in the announcement. There's a terrific amount of flannel, but what, what it looks as though they've done is merely relabeled private banking and asset management as a kind of private banking and wealth division, yeah. and then they've got an investment banking division. But to be frank, I think investors have always thought of them as half investment bank and half wealth manager. So I, I think this probably has more to do with placating regulators, um, having two divisions with a couple of co-heads each yeah. across four regions, one of which is the all-important Switzerland, of course, mm. should, should make things easier. They may also get some cost savings out of it, but really it, it looks pretty meaningless from the outside. Right, but I mean UBS now has sort of set the bar for investment bank restructuring. Um, you know, it announced the, that it was cutting 10,000 jobs um, a few weeks ago and a massive restructuring of its, of its entire investment banking operations. I mean, does Credit Suisse need to do something like that? Because I mean, you know, the, the whole investment banking business is up in the air and every bank is being forced to, to address it. Sure, that's a great disappointment about this morning's announcement. If Credit Suisse had come out with something as bold as UBS's announcement, and don't forget that UBS has just got a relatively new CEO in the form of Sergio Amotti. He came in and had a good think and then he made these changes and you can see it in the in the chart. I mean, the the uh, shares of UBS have gone up 25% mm. this year and Credit Suisse are down 2 or 3%. So the big disappointment is that Credit Suisse perhaps didn't put out a fixed income where it still doesn't really make it alongside the likes of Deutsche or Barclays. Yeah, I mean, because it seems to me that one thing that the Swiss banks are doing is kind of you know, re, re retrenching towards Switzerland in a way. I mean, they're they're sort of you know they're realizing that this is their core market. It's where their private banking is based. It's where their asset management sort of has its strengths, and uh, they seem to be recognizing once again the strengths of the domestic business that they have and, yep. and building on that. Yeah, that's certainly true. But in Credit Suisse's case, I think it's it's almost as if it, when the sun finally sets on the investment banking sector. And, and banks get real and start to sort of focus on what they're really good at. Yeah. So you'll probably find Credit Suisse making yet another announcement on restructuring. It's as if it's in denial about the real change. It talks about acknowledging regulatory mm. change, but it doesn't seem to make the change. Okay, well, Credit Suisse is clearly another investment bank that's making a sort of initial stab at restructuring, but we don't think it's really enough. Thanks, Richard. <laughs>